Drill down, dig deep. This podcast is at the advanced level. It requires a working knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Hebrew or Greek. Some of the most valuable things on earth are in the earth, buried deep. Whether one uses the biblical illustration of digging for treasure or the modern one of drilling for oil, the principle is exactly the same. In this podcast, we'll show you how Accordance helps you mine gold from your library resources, along with a few recent tweaks we've added to our software to make the whole process easier. Accordance offers its users a number of different techniques to initiate an investigation. Instant details, triple click, and search all. While any of these can serve as a basis for further investigation, they often reflect a different level of initial interest. Instant Details makes it easy to do a quick fact check. Triple click accesses additional information rapidly, and Search All is usually the beginning of a serious investigation. In this podcast, we'll demonstrate how we've tweaked the settings for each of these techniques. Instant Details Accordance offers users powerful tools to explore Bibles and texts. Take the cursor, for example. Hover over a word in one of our tagged texts, and information for that word appears in the Instant Details window. In the case of a numerically tagged text, it's the Strong's number and the original Hebrew or Greek word. In an original language text that's grammatically tagged, it's the root, lemma, full parsing, and, if you have the syntax modules installed, the syntax. Pressing the Command key while we hover offers more options. Hovering over a verse reference accesses our top reference tool. A word in an untagged text, the top English tool, typically a Bible dictionary. While a numerically tagged text gives us the definition of the word from that text's link, Hebrew or Greek dictionary. And a grammatically tagged Hebrew or Greek text gives us the definition from our top lexicon. The option command hover is used only with the numerically tagged text to go to an article in an English tool on that particular English word. Top tool used to mean just that, the first or top tool in the category in our library. We could command click on a reference, for example, and Accordance would look for it in our top reference tool. If it found something, it would display it in instant details. If not, instant details remained empty. We've now tweaked that feature considerably in version 9.3. Accordance now searches through the first 10 tools listed in the category, stopping at the first one to list the reference. In short, it now drills down deeper than it ever has before, instantly. All this digging can make it difficult to figure out which source is being accessed. That's why Accordance 9.3.3 has added the name of the source to the Instant Details window. You can see the difference in these two illustrations. Now, if we want to read more of this particular article, we can expand the Instant Details box, or perhaps, more conveniently, amplify the reference directly to that tool on the resource palette. It's time to rethink our library arrangements. This seemingly small change has huge implications for power users, no matter what the level of their Bible study expertise. Students of the Bible know that study Bibles are notoriously spotty in which verses they offer notes. Now, Accordance can search your top 10 study Bibles for a note on a particular verse. If you're a scholar, used to accessing technical commentaries, you'll know that many of those come in separate modules in Accordance. That's why we used to recommend users place a whole Bible commentary at the top of the reference tools. Now we can place any of our favorites there, confident that Accordance will sort through all of them until it finds the specific verse reference. Even text critics can benefit from this new feature, as Accordance will search through the multiple apparatuses to find the first note on a specific verse. We've enhanced instant details for words in exactly the same way. Command click used to just access the first English tool. Now it searches the top 10, looking for the first entry that matches the word. Note that command click searches only the first field in each resource, whether it's titled Entry or Title. These actions are language-specific, meaning that words in different languages access different tool categories. 
English words access English tools, Greek words, Greek tools, and Hebrew and Semitic languages, Hebrew tools. Here again, this change means that users may want to rethink the order of their tools in each category. Triple click. In our last podcast, we explained how Accordance's modules have multiple layers, like this example from the Anchor Yale Bible Dictionary. These individual layers can be accessed here in our desktop application and here in our iOS app. What does this have to do with triple click? Well, it seemed to us that a user invoking triple click is more serious about exploring a verse reference or a word. So Accordance should scan the resources more closely. The result? TripleClick now scans multiple layers of each of the top 10 resources looking for the first hit. Triple-clicking a verse reference will search both the reference and scripture fields of the top 10 reference tools looking for a hit. The reference is the main entry. The scripture field contains all the other Bible references that are scattered throughout the tool's content. Triple-clicking a word will also search the top 10 tools in the language category, this time searching the top three relevant fields, even if they vary from tool to tool. In this example, TripleClick found an article on Ekron in the very first field of the very first tool. If I still need more information, I can continue my investigation by selecting a different layer in the same tool or a different tool with the same field, and just click Search. I can repeat it as often as desired, and since the search term is persistent, this technique is a breeze. If at any point we decide we'd rather just search the whole tool category at once, we can amplify the word to all English tools. Accordance will perform the equivalent of a triple-click search on every one and open them all in individual tabs. There's also a preference that will dramatically affect how both triple-click and amplifying work. Found in the general pane, it is whether or not Accordance includes the verse reference when amplifying from a word to a text. If this preference is checked, Accordance first looks for a layer in which the word appears, where the reference also appears for the same article. If it can't find that, then it checks for just the word and repeats that two-step process for each layer it searches within the tool. It's a way of narrowing a search to find only the most relevant material. And notice this preference can be overridden with the shift key. Search all. For times when a single tool just won't provide enough information, Accordance's search all performs global searches. This is Accordance's most powerful and exhaustive search. The easiest ways to initiate it are to select a word or verse reference, then either use control click to access the contextual menu or amplify it to the search icon on the resource palette. Either way will access one of four predefined search groups. They include all modules, all texts, all tools, and all graphics tools. Search all will also search custom folders in my groups, and these folders are automatically added to the search all menus when created. Search all searches every relevant layer, grouping them first by language. It also searches references and it searches captions. For more information on search all techniques, see podcast number 46. That's because our focus in this podcast is the recent tweak our programmers have made to search all. It has to do with the search all sort order, specifically sort by importance. You see, the same search all can be sorted in three different ways. An alphabetical sort arranges all the modules by name and then also alphabetizes the layers within each. That's different from the library order, which sorts modules by how they appear in the library. Text first, and then tools, and then layers within the tools are sorted by their ranking within each tool. How is that different from sort by importance? Well, this one requires a bit more information, for one thing. Since primary sources are more important than secondary sources, all texts come first, arranged by the number of hits in each one. Tools come second, but they're not sorted by total hits. Instead, each tool's individual layer's hits are considered separately. All layers are then organized by the number of hits without regard to what tool they belong to. 
This new method ensures that users can locate the layers that interest them the most quickly and easily. We can then click to see the results or double click to open that layer in a regular tool tab. Now let's use Accordance to dig for information. Since this is an advanced podcast, I won't take the time to demonstrate everything we've talked about. However, I do want to show you the changes in the ID box using Command Hover. You'll notice here in my English tools, I put Photo Guide 3 first, Erdman's Dictionary second, and Anchor third. But I followed it with Webster. I've done that because Photo Guide 3, of course, is going to be excellent when it comes to places, but it's not going to have the various kings and other kinds of biblical words that Erdman's Dictionary and Anchor does. Now, take a look at this. When I hold the command key down and I hover over Ahab, notice that Accordance skips the photo guide and goes directly to Erdman's Dictionary. But if I move to Moab, now it's pulling the article from Photo Guide 3. Similarly, Ahaziah and Samaria. But take a look at what happens if I go to the word lattice. Photo Guide 3, Erdman's Dictionary, and Anchor Bible Dictionary don't have that word at all. On the other hand, Webster does have a definition for it, so you can see Accordance is sorting through the multiple layers. In the same way, if I go to my various verse references, like 2 Kings 1-2, notice that it goes directly to Word Biblical Commentary Old Testament. And that's not so impressive if Word Biblical Commentary Old Testament happens to be my top reference tool, but notice that it's not. I actually have the New Testament module first so I could demonstrate that Accordance is now drilling down beyond the top reference tool. So those of you who have invested in Word Biblical Commentary, you can now use these two modules as your top two reference tools, and Accordance will pick the testament that is most appropriate. The other thing I wanted to demonstrate to you is just how fast Accordance's search all is. I'm going to select some area, then go over here and say, search all. That's it. Accordance is just search every module that Oak Tree offers for purchase. As I go down through these various titles and layers, let me move this out so you can see. Notice how the alphabetical sort sorts by tool. The library order changes. Now I have text first. As I scroll down, you can see that that continues to be in library order. Let me skip well beyond text here. And now you can see photo guide entry, photo guide English content, photo guide captions. Why is it in this order? It's because this is the ranking within photo guide of those three layers. Now, how about the importance order? Text, by which ones have the greatest number of hits? You can see the order decreasing as we go down. And then, notice the individual layers have been separated out now. And, for example, if I want to take Halote, and I want to see the various hits in it, I can click it once. I'll move this browser back over manually. And I can thumb through the various hits like this, or I can scroll through the various hits like this. Or if I decide that I want to see that in a tool window all by itself, I can say, well, there are 102 hits. Let's go ahead and skip directly to those various hits. I earned my PhD the year before Accordance was released. Having done all of my research for my dissertation old school, I can't express to you how grateful I am for Accordance's powerful search capabilities. I just wish it had been available sooner. I heartily recommend it to any of you who are serious about doing research in the Bible or related areas. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.